we all have a hunger. I'm not just talking about hunger for small things, small items. Mostly that we can take care of with a snack or with a little bit of money to pay our debts, cover our expenses. Those are the small hungers. There's another hunger that each one of us has and that's a hunger for something great, for greatness, for, for great happiness or a great success, wonderful success, maybe a fame, some tremendous achievement. That's the, we have this hunger for something, something great, some happiness, some success. And we look for satisfaction and we don't find it so easily. And we imagine, mostly we imagine, I think most people in the world imagine that if we would achieve great wealth or if we had, if we looked amazing, if we were dressed beautifully and we, our faces were beautiful, we were in sparkling physical condition, fit and handsome and pretty. So then we imagine that that would fill our hunger, this hunger for this, this success, the this satisfaction that we so much want. We'd stop being hungry. But the truth is that even those people who reach great wealth or great fame or the beauty they want, the popularity they want, they're the joker amongst their friends, they know how to draw friends to themselves like, a, like honey draws bees around it. So even those people who do reach these goals that are so, that are so important to us, that are, so, that are to be found on the billboards and all the advertisements, these goals of this, this external type of success, most people discover that they are still hungry. They are still hungry. This, the hunger has not been met. And the truth is that the solution, as our sages have taught us, the solution for this hunger is a closeness to the Creator. It's only coming closer to the Creator that fills this, this thirst and this hunger. And as we get closer, so we are, so we are more satisfied. Now that's, this is what we're saying here, closeness to the Creator, closeness to Hashem is not such a simple thing. We have to appreciate it. You know, many t people uh, come to learn Torah or do mitzvahs, but they, they don't really feel they're doing something that important. So we have to appreciate it, we have to realize it, and it's a process. We have to learn how it can satisfy it. We have to, we have to train ourselves in coming closer to the Creator. It's, it's, a, it's a process, but it is the process. It is the absolute, it is the ultimate way that we can sate this hunger, that we can satisfy this hunger that birds within ourselves. And there's another point here, and that is that through coming close to the Creator, this closeness will give us also special heavenly help that helps us with other issues in our lives, the, the problems of our lives. Maybe it's problems with, uh, problems with paying bills, or problems with children, or problems with finding a shidduch. Other problems are also resolved when we move closer to Hashem. So coming closer to Hashem, coming closer to the Creator is a way of satisfying the deep hunger within us and also it's a device for us to help, to help, to have help, to have all of our different problems solved for us in the immediate future as well as in the distant future as well as in terms of our eternity, our life in this world and in the world to come.